behind such violent protests in Muslim countries like Pakistan are the blasphemous contents repeatedly published on Western social media networks against Islam and its last prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. The social media networks systematically encourage anti-Islamic blasphemous contents on their platforms under the convenient cover of freedom of expression. However, posts highlighting reaction linked with blasphemous contents and oppression of Muslims are treated as hate speech on the basis of which accounts of millions of users have been blocked over the years. This is Shahir Sialvi. He is a popular student leader with his massive number of followers on social media networks until recently. But now, he likes millions of other users appears to be the victim of a biased interpretation of hate speech on social media networks. From Facebook and from uh, YouTube, around 2 million followers have been blocked. There were some people who were doing blasphemy of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and I had just given them answer that this is not acceptable. Whenever you speak in favor of those people who are fighting, who are struggling for the right of self-determination, either it's Kashmir, either it's Burma, either it's uh, Palestine, either what was done with the people of Iraq by the U.S. armed forces, either what is being done by uh, the U.S. armed forces against the people of Afghanistan. If you speak for their rights, your account gets blocked. You are not allowed to speak for them. This man, Dr. Asad Ali Shah, is determined to address mass complaints of discrimination against Muslim users on social media platforms. Dr. Asad, an author of a book on Islamophobia, has developed an independent social media platform. The Socio is the new social media platform, which he has finally launched on Socio.pk. The social appears to be a clone of Facebook. We can accommodate uh, millions of users. We have a uh, load balancer in Asia Pacific, we have three load balancer in Europe, and we have two load balancer in America, North America. So we can cater um, the whole population wherever they are. We wanted to create some environment, some, some digital platform where we can give the space to those people who want to raise their voices in favor of Kashmiris, who want to raise their voices in favor of Palestinians. So we will make sure that your voice is being heard all over the world. The Western media networks have fueled xenophobia and Islamophobia, which have alarmingly surged crimes such as stabbing, murder, ban on Islamic rituals, attacks on mosques, and even major incidents of terrorism in the West and alleged programs of Muslims in parts of India in recent years. Javed Rana, Islamabad, Pakistan.